Our directions for Work Together 2-3 read, T accounts are given below. Your instructor will guide you through the following examples. Use the chart of accounts from Burgum Services below. So what you have to realize in our directions, these are all of our accounts that we can use. Cash, accounts receivable Sam Erickson, supplies, prepaid insurance, accounts payable bail supply, Kathy Burgum Capital, Kathy Burgum Drawing, sales, advertising expense, and rent expense. A business will always have a list of accounts that you can choose from. You're not going to go through and just randomly make up accounts. So they're giving that as a heads up, but these are the account titles that we're going to be using. So we have transactions April 10th to the 20th. Our first direction says prepare two accounts, two T accounts for each transaction. On each T account, write the account title of one of the accounts affected by the transaction and write the debit or credit amount in each T account to show the transaction's effect. Just like our work together and on your own, we need to make sure that we list our, our debit account first and our credit account second. So for transaction uh, April 10th, receive cash from sales. So these are very similar to the ones that we just did on the board as a review. The first thing that we have to do is determine what two accounts are going to be affected. Kyle, can you give me one of the accounts that are going to be affected? Okay, cash is what type of an account? <coughs> You're right. And what side of the accounting equation is an asset on? So therefore its normal balance is? Correct, yes. It really was the same answer twice. Um, so for this transaction, um, Kyle, do we have more cash or less cash? More. So are we going to be debiting or crediting cash? Yes. I did all of that first on one account to see whether or not that one's going first or second. So cash is being debited here for $600. Okay, my next account that I'm going to be affecting for this transaction, let's see, Jared, do you want to take a guess on that one? Receive cash from sales. What would my other account be? Sales, okay. Now, sales is one of those four items over here on the left-hand side. Which one, what heading does it fit under? Revenue. And what does revenue do to owner's equity? Increase. What is the increase side of owner's equity? Say it again, please. Try again. What side of the accounting equation is owner's equity on? Credit. So owner's equity is on the right hand side. So therefore, the increased side of owner's equity is going to be a credit. And you just said that revenue causes owner's equity to go up. When we need to figure out the normal balance of any of those ways that we affect owner's equity, we have to determine if it causes owner's equity to go up or down. So, Sales has a credit normal balance. Do we have more sales or less sales, Jared? Say it again. More. more. Thank you. So, are we going to be debiting or crediting sales? Good 50 50 guess. We are going to be crediting sales. Remember, every transaction must have a debit and a credit. You can never have two debits, and you can never have two debits. You always have to have one of each. April 11th, sold services on an account to Sam Erickson. Carly, give me an account. Okay, so accounts receivable Sam Erickson is what type of an account? What side of the accounting equation is it on? Normal balance, thank you. Do we have more, does Sam Erickson owe us more money or less money because of this transaction? More, so is accounts receivable Sam Erickson gonna be debited or credited? Yes. So therefore, on April 11th, accounts receivable Sam Erickson is gonna go first and we are gonna debit it $850. Thomas, what's my other account for this transaction? Sales. Sales is one of those four ways we affect owner's equity. What does sales do to owner's equity? 
Does it make it go up or down? What is the increased side of owner's equity? Okay, so therefore the normal balance for our sales account is going to be a credit. Okay, do we have more sales or less sales, Thomas? More. So therefore, are we going to debit or credit sales? April 14th, paid cash for rent. Dale, give me one of my accounts. Okay. Cash is what type of an account? Nope. Nope. What type of an account? Cash is the name of the account, the classification. Asset, liability, owner's equity. There you go. You were jumping ahead. Two questions on me. So it is an asset, and the normal balance of an asset is a? which is called a? Yes. So do we have more cash or less cash because of this transaction, Dale? We have less, less cash. So what are we doing to cash? Debiting or crediting? crediting? Correct. So cash cannot go first. Cash has to be the second account on this one. So cash is going down or crediting for $250. So Garrett, what's the other account for this one? Expense. Rent expense. And rent expense is one of those four ways that we affect owner's equity. Do you know the classification for it? Expense. It actually has the word right in it. And what do expenses do to owner's equity, Garrett? Make it go up or down? Down. down. Okay. So what is the decrease side of owner's equity? Correct. So the normal balance for expenses would be a debit. So do we have more expense or less expense because of this transaction? Yes. So we're going to have rent expense here is going to be debited $250. The 18th, receive cash on an account from Sam Erickson. Seth, give me an account. Okay. So accounts receivable, Sam Erickson, is what type of an account? It is an asset, okay. Assets have what for normal balance? Yep. So accounts receivable, Sam Erickson, does he owe us less money or more money? Okay, so what are we going to be doing to accounts receivable, Sam Erickson, a debit or a credit? So therefore, it needs to be our second T account, not our first one. Accounts receivable Sam Erickson is going to be credited 425. Fox, what's the other account for April 18th? Okay, um, cash. cash is what type of an account? Passive. Normal balance? Uh, Correct. Do we have more cash or less cash? More. So therefore, cash is going to be debited $425. Last transaction for work together is paid cash to owner for personal use. Clayton, what's one of the accounts for this one? For the 20th? Cash. What type of an account is it? It's an asset. Side of the accounting equation it's on? Left. So therefore it would have a debit balance, just like you were trying to tell me. So. Clayton, for this transaction, do we have more cash or less cash? So we're going to have to credit cash, so it needs to be listed as second. Kyle, you want to take a guess at that other account we're going to be using? Remember, look at the very top there. We have those list of accounts there. Has to be one of those words. Yes, Kathy Burgum drawing. And Kathy Burgum drawing is our um, withdrawal account. And what do withdrawals do to owner's equity? Does it make it go up or down? Yes, so it's, it makes owner's equity go down. So what is the downside of owner's equity? Yes, so that's going to be the normal balance for Kathy Burgum 
uh, drawing. So has Kathy Bergen drawing, has she taken more assets out of the business or less? Yep, so we're going to be increasing Kathy Burgum Capital. Uh, excuse me, Kathy Burgum Drawing, not Capital, not Capital, uh, as a debit for $300. Check that answer. Woo! Monday morning, I got a perfect so far. Go ahead and try on your own. <laughs> 